when the Gemini astronauts were traveling at 18,000 miles an hour in orbit, and they had to use the command control panel to judge when they were going to crash into the object they were docking with, they would use this instrument, and today we're going to show you how. Would you like to take an interactive virtual tour of this spacecraft, or this spacecraft, or this spacecraft, or even this spacecraft? Well, stay till the end, and we'll show you how. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we're going back to the Gemini 7 spacecraft, which had to do with the first rendezvous in space, and we're going to work again on the command pilot's control panel. This is where Frank Borman would sit. And again, going on the instruments that are in front of him that helped with the rendezvous in spice, uh, space. And for that, we're going to go into a mystery instrument here that isn't there anymore, the range rate indicator. Now, if you are not a Patreon subscriber to our page, if you go up here and click on the Command Pilots Control Panel, uh, you'll be able to find your way to where we're going. It may take you a couple more steps, but if you are a Patreon uh, subscriber, all you're going to have to do is go to where the range rate indicator is and click on it. And when you click on it, it takes you to the range rate indicator and as you can see we have the range out here on the outside and then we have the range rate out here on the inside so this needle is a range rate or this is the range here with the range needle range rate is this needle here on the inside so what this needle is doing and it might get a little technical, but hang with me. During the catch-up phase, which the closing range rate in feet per second may be equal to or less than the square root of the numerical value of the range in feet. So what they're saying is when two the Gemini spacecrafts were trying to meet rendezvous in space, Gemini 6 and 7, that this numerical value is what they were trying uh was was their their caution was the, their safety margin this means for instance at 300,000 feet apart the maximum closing rate is 547 feet per second at 30,000 feet apart it's 172 feet per second so you see they went from a factor of 10 and we slowed down a great deal, like almost, uh, well, more than uh, three quarters. But at 3,000 feet, it's 51 feet per second in maximum. Those are the numbers that they're telling you to do, okay? So that's what they want the pilot or the astronauts to fly at, all right? King, just stay with me a little bit longer. The range and range rate scales are range coex, uh, coincentrically on the RR meter so that range is on the radius directly adjacent to the maximum closing rate. Hence, as towards zero, which means when they get close to zero, which means they're touching each other, zero is when you've docked, the closing long as the range needle proceeds, the uh, long as the range rate needle proceeds, the range needle rate is not excessive so that is uh, that that's your caution that's your uh, to make sure that you're not going so fast that you can't slow down and you run into someone when the indicating edges of the needles coincide as needles move towards zero so when these two needles coincide which means they line up as you're coming down to the range of zero what that means is uh, the maximum tolerance closing rate is indicated, all right? If the range needle precedes the range rate needle towards zero, the closing rate is excessively high. Okay, 
This is all that it means right here. If the range needle, the range needle, so we have the range, here's the range needle, proceeds the range rate needle towards zero. The range rate needle towards zero. So when this needle is well, basically in this case, the closing rate is excessively high, which means you're going to need a lot of energy. Uh, you're going to spend a lot of fuel trying to slow down to make a safe rendezvous in space. So that's what we're talking about here. If you um, now that that's what we're talking about with the needle. If you go to the schematics, well, I had to dig for this one, but you can see the radar down here and all the references towards it that's where the radar comes in for the attitude display group this is how it's all incorporated in the uh, the instrumentation and you can see we have the downrange error um, and the cross range error all of this is getting fed from the radar and the range rate radar is incorporated in all of this in the schematic from the best that I can find. That's all for this week. If you would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon, just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.